Good morning everyone, this is Haralambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at Iron FX, bringing you the morning comment for the 29th of uh, December. Bank of Japan Summary of Opinions, cautiously optimistic. The Bank of Japan Summary of Opinions from the December policy meeting showed that most uh, board members are optimistic with regards to the domestic economy. Many of them noted improvement in economic indicators, uh, most notably in private consumption, exports and industrial production. With regards uh, to monetary policy, the consensus was that QQE with a yield curve control should be maintained in order to achieve the 2% inflation target, reinforcing our view that the Bank of Japan is likely to keep its current policy intact for some time. Perhaps the most uh, noteworthy development was that one member noted uh, that the Bank of Japan should allow long-term interest rates to fluctuate in a bigger range and particularly to the upside, in a sense calling for the bank to raise its uh, yield target on longer dated Japanese government bonds. Even though this view was likely expressed by one of the members that descended the initial decision to introduce QQE with yield curve control, this is still important as it shows that the Bank of Japan board may have discussed the possibility of raising its yield target. In our view, this could be one of the themes market participants will focus on in the coming year namely whether or not the Bank of Japan will keep its yield target unchanged in an environment of rising global uh, bond yields. If the target is uh, kept unchanged and foreign yields uh, rise further, the yen is likely to continue to depreciate across uh, the board. In the scenario that uh, the board uh, does raise the target, this would likely ease some of the yen's uh, depreciation pressure as it would allow a, a, a somewhat uh, narrower yield spread between Japanese and foreign bonds. However, we consider this a relatively low probability scenario because it would likely lead to relatively uh, tighter financial conditions, something the bank may prefer to avoid with inflation so far from target. Dollar yen did not respond uh, to the summary but uh, had been in a, in a sliding mode hours ahead of uh, the release. The pair fell back below the 117 uh, line and although the prevailing trend remains positive, the retreat may continue for a while, at least for a test near the 116 barrier. A dip below that line could initially aim for the next support of 115.40. However, we stick to our guns uh, that the bulls uh, may take charge again at some point. A clear break above 118 and uh, the downside resistance line taken from the peak of the 15th of December may signal a trend resumption and is possible to initially aim for the 118.60 level. Another break above that hurdle could pave the way uh, could pave the way for the psychological area of 120. As for the bigger picture, the break above the downside resistance line drawn from, the, from back at the peak of the 10th of uh, March following the US uh, election has uh, brought a medium-term trend reversal in our view. Since then, the price structure on the daily chart has been higher peaks and higher traps, which enhances the case for the pair to rebound again in the near term. The positive divergence between our daily oscillators, though, favor, favors uh, the continuation of the current corrective uh, phase for now. As for today's indicators, uh, Norway's retail sales for November are forecast to, to have slowed on a monthly basis, which uh, could prove somewhat negative uh, for NOC in a relatively quiet calendar. From Eurozone, we get the M3 money supply growth for November, though this is usually not a major market mover for the common currency. In the US, initial jobless claims for the week ended on the 23rd of December are expected to have declined from the previous week, something that would also cause the four-week moving average to decline somewhat. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harlambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.